Another material that I'd like to talk about is DNA. DNA is something that we may not think about as a polymer in the sense that it's not a consumer product, but it is a polymer and it's actually very important because without DNA, uh, life as we know it wouldn't exist. Uh, DNA stands for uh, deoxyribonucleic acid. And this molecule is a long chain molecule composed of repeat units that are called nucleotides. And these nucleotides have a more complex chemical structure than some of the synthetic polymers that we've talked about so far. There's two main parts. There's a sugar phosphate backbone, uh, which is shown here in the orange and these highlighted areas. Uh, so these form kind of the backbone structure of the polymer. And then attached to that backbone as side groups are what are called nucleobases. Uh, so these are connected to each of these orange sugar groups. And there's four different nucleobases, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. So this structure forms the polymer chain of DNA. Now what's interesting is that these nucleobases actually bind with nucleobases on a neighboring chain and they bind in specific ways. So we talked about the covalent bonds that hold the chain backbone together, but that there can be secondary uh, bonding that takes place to help the polymer chain assume a more complex global structure. And that's what happens here. Each of these, so if I cut this down the middle, the left-hand side is one polymer chain and the right-hand side is one polymer chain. These two chains then can be held together if these nucleobases bind together in specific ways. And they do this by hydrogen bonding, and that's what's indicated by these dashed lines here. Uh, so the specific ways are that uh, adenine binds to, cyt to thiamine, AT, and guanine binds to cytosine. So the GC or the guadenine-cytosine interaction has three hydrogen bonds, and the adenine-thiamine interaction has two hydrogen bonds. So this specificity of binding then creates a global structure that's more complicated, this sort of helical or double helix structure that we associate with DNA is a consequence of this hydrogen bonding between neighboring change in a sequence specific manner uh, that uh, is defined by the chemical structure of these nucleobases. Uh, so DNA is actually just an information storage medium. It's basically the parts list uh, to carry out life functions. Uh, this code uh, that is made up by the order of these bases, these ACGT, uh, it's like a binary code as zeros and ones, uh, this DNA code has four letters, A, C, G, T. Those are then transcribed into RNA uh, and where they go to the ribosomes and then are used to produce proteins, where each sequence of three of these bases then codes for one amino acid uh, in a protein sequence. So that's the process, but it's just a storage medium. But this specific structure of the polymer chain is what gives DNA the ability to store this information so that it can be encoded to carry out functions relevant to life.